Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video that's going to make everyone cringe and feel awkward because this is something that nobody likes to talk about, but it's something we all want deep down inside. And the only way to do this in a way that people aren't freaking out all the time is if we normalize the fucking conversation. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. What are we talking about today? <clears throat> la, 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 We're talking about pricing. 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 What the fuck is that? We are going to be talking about right now how much value you need to be putting on your work. And just me saying that, a bunch of you just went like this. Why? Why? Why do you feel like that? Like, when you go and get your fucking car worked on, you know, when, when you're like, oh, shit, my fucking brakes are out. I got to fucking take this in. When, when the guy comes up to you and tells you how much it's going to be to get new brakes and shit, d does the guy go like this right before he says 750 fucking bucks or some shit? No. He doesn't because he knows how much parts cost. He knows how much labor is and he knows what his markup is. When you do these things like this, when you know what things are valued at, you can give somebody a price for certain things and it's fucking normal and expected. Why the fuck is art any different? You want to know why art is different? Because we have been told by everyone around us that there's no money in the arts and don't quit your day job and all that other fucking shit. Okay. But now what we're going to do is we're going to look at what this shit is. What is it? Okay. So let's start thinking about stuff. Let's start fucking brass tacking this fucking shit. Okay. So first off. You're going to write something. How are, how are you selling it? Is it just going to be an ebook? Is it going to be a print on demand? Are you going to actually get copies of your book made and have them and sell them? Are you making chat books like I do, like these guys right here? Are you making these? How much does your paper cost? How much does the cardstock cost? How much does the ink cost for the printer? How much, like, and then if you're shipping stuff, how much is your fucking envelopes? Like, all of this stuff. How much does all of this shit cost? The reason why so many people, especially on Etsy and shit, they'll start an Etsy store and then fucking it's dead within three or six months is because they have no idea how to price things. They have no idea how to price the, the actual shipping stuff. You need to look at what your materials are. If you're, if you're an artist... Your fucking paper, your inks, your brushes, your pencils, what, whatever all this shit is. You need to know how much that costs you. And it, like right there, just with basic fucking like the inventory of the product needed to make the fucking thing. That's your base. Do you know how many people I've worked with? and have tried to like help build their shops up and shit like that, they will come to me and say like, why is this one <sighs> hair driving me crazy? They come to me and say, oh yeah, I'm selling this for $10. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like how much did all that shit cost to get before you even started making it? And they start doing the math and they're like, oh, you know, like 50, 55 bucks, you know, but like, uh, like if I sell like, I don't know, like X amount of these, I will make that back and that's fine. But if the majority of the money you pay to make the thing in the first place isn't even covered in the one sale and you have to get that again each time you make something, you're fucking yourself. Well, I don't want it to be too much because then people, you know, they won't buy it and all this other shit. Dude, that's not how it works. How many times have you fucking 
I don't know, gone to fucking do anything. And like, you're like, oh, that's too much. I guess, I guess we're going to turn around and go home. Like, you know, as a consumer, roughly how much something is going to cost. And you fucking, you go and you fucking pay for the thing because that's what you assume the fucking price of that thing's going to be. And artists and writers, this should not be any fucking different. Like, I know how much paper is. I know how much cardstock is. And the thing that's funny about that is that certain cardstocks cost different amounts. And certain cardstock packages, for me, come in different unit sizes. So certain things are going to cost more than others. These are things we need to put into effect. If you're only doing ebooks or print on demand books, you have no material costs and you're not doing shipping. So at this point, we're just talking about how much time you put into that and what you think your time is worth. And then you have to look at what you have and like, okay, so how many, how many books do you need to sell in order to pay your bills? How many books do you need to sell in order to, I don't know, like cover your rent or cover your internet, like figure out what these numbers are and then break down the actual number of units you need to sell at what price and figure it out. This is what every other person fucking does. You know what I'm saying? Now, some of you might be going, that's not how it is, you know? Like, it's not like fucking manual labor or anything. Dude, fucking typing's fucking manual labor, dude. Like, you're sitting here for hours doing the fingers. Quit selling yourself short. You're fucking worth it. Like, whoever fucking fed you the lie that, like, you as a writer or you as an artist do not deserve certain things because there's no money in that, fuck them. Price based on what you need to survive in order to continue doing the thing. I don't understand, especially with, I mean, it's with art in general, but like with poetry too, it's like there's this fucking weird thing where everyone is expected to work for free. Okay? Okay forever like you're just gonna work for free forever like this isn't a money thing you know like hopefully someone will be able to fucking take care of you and the whole fucking deal but you know whatever you're fucked deal with it and because you love this art so much you don't mind getting fucked and we're gonna continue to fuck you and you will continue to do the work for nothing okay but then everyone's like oh but you have to support the arts but then they don't do anything to support the arts. They say support the arts because that's a, a virtuous thing to say. Support the arts. Okay. If you're going to say support the arts, support the fucking arts. Now, some people are like, well, you don't pay anyone for the blood rag. I don't pay anyone for the blood rag, but I give them copies of it that they could sell themselves when they're out doing whatever they want. And the amount that they would sell them for would roughly be what most places would give them for a poem. Unless you're a huge fucking magazine and then I'm fucked and I'm not going to like keep up with that shit. But that's just the whole thing. Like. I will give you the fucking product and you do what you want with it. Like, do you want to take this with you when you table somewhere? Do you want to fucking sell this on your website? Like, whatever the fuck you want to do, do the fucking thing. Do you want to fucking... Dude, I can send this to you, okay? If you're one of the people on here, you could fucking sign it and sell it on your site for like five bucks a piece. If you feel like your signature is worth five bucks. You know, it depends on how you do shit with your fucking fan base. With your audience, the people who love your shit. If you're sitting there going, well, I don't have a fan base. I don't have an audience. Then what the fuck are you doing? 
if you don't have this and you don't want that, then just write for fucking self-pleasure and never put it out. But for those of you who put stuff out, you put it out because you want to build an audience. You don't put it out because you want no one to ever read it. Who the fuck does that? That doesn't even fucking make sense. But we have this whole thing. Well, you know, like, I'm not in this for the money, you know? Okay, well then give it to everyone for free. Oh, well, I'm not going to do that. Okay, well then fucking take yourself fucking seriously and do the fucking thing. Like, there, there is no, like, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You either do or you don't. I, I will leave this with you. I can't remember where I heard this, but I heard it just recently. The dude who invented Red Bull just died, I guess. Whatever. Or something. And when he first came out with Red Bull, all of these, like, people were saying to him, why are you charging so much for this? Like, why are you charging... Like, this just came out. No one even knows what the fuck it is. Like, you need to bring your price down. Because right now, you're selling it as if it were a premium product at this price. And then he said, well, how would people know it's a premium product unless I sell it for a premium product price? And that's all it took for people to go, oh, shit, Red Bull is a premium fucking product. Now, a lot of you might be like, oh, this is some capitalism bullshit, da 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 Whatever. If that's how you feel about it, that's fine. But if you really feel that way, I want to see some fucking, like, really good fucking socialism through your art. Okay? Like, if you're going to sit here and fucking throw that fucking rock at the fucking glass house, like, I want to see you fucking giving your work out for free everywhere you go and do everything you do for free. But if you just want to use basic economics to fucking be able to fucking make a living as a fucking artist, as a fucking writer, as a fucking poet, then take yourself seriously. How the fuck is anyone going to take you seriously if you don't take yourself seriously? Like, what the fuck? Are you a comedian? Because that's the only line of work where that works. But if you're not a fucking comedian, take yourself seriously. Figure out what your worth is, what the value of your work is, and fucking price your shit accordingly. Do not undercut yourself. People need to know that what you are offering is premium. You know what I'm saying? And that's not me saying, like, you need to charge $100 for every chat book you make. That's not what I'm fucking saying. You have to be fucking cognizant of what the fuck is going on in the market. But don't undercut yourself because when you undercut yourself, you race to the bottom. And when you race to the bottom, you get there faster than everybody else. Believe me, I know. I have learned from my mistakes, okay? So whatever. Fuck off, everybody. So anyway, if, if you like this kind of content... You might want to fucking join the Anarchy Crew. Hit the join button down below. There's over 100 videos of all sorts of different shit. I think. Maybe it's not 100. Maybe it's 90. There's over 90 videos of shit like this, but with actual fucking lessons and homework and shit like that. Plus, you get, like, discounts on my shit. Plus, you get the fucking Discord community. Plus, you get daily writing prompts. So, if that's something you're fucking interested in and you like how this is fucking going, then fucking jump on that. And also, if you join the Anarchy Crew, I'm going to be doing a video here soon um, about me refreshing my listings and going through Amazon and going through Etsy and showing you ways to create more interest or fresh interest to older products. So if that is something that you think would be helpful to you, click the fucking join button join the anarchy crew keep buying my books everybody last chance poems about last chance gas stations out now in my etsy shop down below type hard and i will talk to you guys later i just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible anarchy crew and my followers on patreon i appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible you guys are awesome and if you'd like to join the crew or the anarchy crew just hit the join button beneath this video and if you'd like to become a member of my patreon you can run over to the link down below to do that as well thank you